Science is an incredible tool, regularly taking leaps and bounds into unknown territory. We've done some fantastic things, like cloning Dolly the sheep and 3D printing stem cells to create things like ears and jawbones. Science is poised, and in some cases has already experimented with bringing back species from near or total extinction. Join me as I dive into the top 10 species that science would like to bring back from extinction. Number one is sure to stun you. Number 10, Kakapo. New Zealand is home to many unique plants and animals, including the flightless parrot, the Kakapo. The Kakapo can travel several kilometers each day with strong legs and excellent climbing skills. The population started to decline with the Maori arriving in the 14th century. Important features of their legends and folklore, they were kept as pets, but also hunted heavily for their meat. Feathers and skin didn't go to waste, being featured on valuable articles of clothing. Rats introduced with ship travel also became the Kakapo's first mammal predators, gobbling up eggs and chicks, continuing to decimate the population. Scientists and conservation experts have taken the remaining population and placed them on five offshore predator-free islands. A strict quarantine process reduces visitors' chance of bringing an invasive species. Scientists take it a step further by taking freshly laid eggs, leaving a very conceiving decoy to ensure proper incubation. The chicks are returned a day after hatching. So far, this method has produced more than 70 hand-reared and returned chicks. The number might seem small, but most or all of these chicks would have likely died if left unattended. Number nine, Cross River Gorilla. The critically endangered Cross River Gorilla only has an estimated 200 to 300 individuals in the population. Humans encroaching on their natural habitat is the main reason this species finds itself in such dire circumstances. As the most threatened ape in Africa, conservation efforts have focused on protecting critical habitats. Other unique approaches to the problem will hopefully help bring these creatures back from the brink of extinction. Conservationists are developing alternative livelihoods for nearby humans that protect the gorilla's environment with a scientific understanding of the ecosystems they thrive in. Sustainable practices like beekeeping and ecotourism reduce the pressure placed on the forest the Cross River Gorilla lives in. This model, with proven success, may pave the way for future conservation efforts. Number eight, Arctic Rotifer. You're probably wondering to yourself, what the heck is a rotifer, let alone an Arctic variety? Rotifers are microscopic animals, often referred to as wheel animals. Scientists have always known they were resilient creatures, able to withstand drying, starvation, freezing, and lack of oxygen. Scientists discovered a frozen rotifer in permafrost about 24,000 years old. Once the rotifer was thawed, it could reproduce through parthenogenesis, a process through which fertilization does not need to take place. Scientists are most interested in studying the mechanisms that allow these creatures to return to life, bringing science fiction one step closer to science fact. Number seven, black-footed ferret. This entry on my list is listed as an endangered and is one of North America's most endangered animals. It is estimated that only 400 of these animals are left in the Northern Great Plains of North America. They were thought extinct until a colony was found in 1981, more than 10 years after it was assumed they were gone. One of the unique methods scientists use to save the ferret is cloning. Elizabeth Ann, the black-footed ferret, was created using preserved cells from another animal that had been long deceased. Researchers hope to breed her in the future, releasing her offspring into the wild. This increases the number of animals in the population and genetic diversity, as all living ferrets are closely related. Number six, the dodo. Perhaps one of the most well-known extinct species, the dodo bird, would be fascinating to see in real life. Not only is it recognized for its large, flightless form, but it's also one of the clearest examples of how destructive humans can be. Not only did explorers hunt the birds for food and sport, but similar to the Kakapo, the introduction of rats put dodo eggs at serious risk. It took just 75 years for humans to make the dodo extinct. Researcher Beth Shapiro is working on a fully sequenced dodo genome. She hopes to compare it to the already complete Nicobar pigeon genome, its closest relative, 
to what DNA makes a dodo a dodo. That's just the first step. Figuring out how to rear chicks and protect them from re-extinction would offer new puzzles to solve. Number 5. Pyrenean Ibex This species on my list holds the unique distinction of having gone extinct not once, but twice. The Pyrenean Ibex was declared extinct in January 2000. Although many species of Ibex thrive across Europe, Africa, and Asia, the Pyrenean quickly declined into extinction. Three and a half years later, scientists in Spain used the genetic materials from the last Ibex to clone her. The newborn took a few breaths and died after about 10 minutes. Number 4. Plants from the Permafrost The seemingly neurotic behavior of squirrels and other rodents storing food for a rainy day brought this next entry back to life. Fossil burrows were discovered while searching for woolly mammoth bones. Among the contents were fruit stored by squirrels more than 30,000 years ago. The Institute of Cell Biophysics team raised these fruit plants from the frozen sample. This plant, Silene stenophylla, outshines the prior oldest plant resurrection by about 28,000 years. Number 3. Beijing Dolphins, Yangtze River This dolphin, known as the goddess of the Yangtze, thrived in China's Yangtze River until China's industrialization period in the 1950s. Before this period, an estimated 6,000 Beijing dolphins lived in the river. By 1997, only 13 individuals remained. Like the dodo, it's an example of how destructive humans can be, so it's no surprise that it's one of the species scientists feel would be worthy of going through de-extinction. Number 2. Woolly Mammoth a company named Colossal has a singular mission, to genetically resurrect the woolly mammoth. The team hopes to accomplish this by editing elephant DNA, adding genetic code for mammoth-like traits. These might include thick fat to endure cold climates, dense hair, and more prominent tusks. Some argue that, if successful, releasing mammoth-like elephants might repair the tundra landscape of Siberia and North America. Others ponder whether it's wise or responsible to bring back an animal we have no historical understanding of. Colossal secured $15 million in funding, so at least some people are interested in seeing where this leads. Number 1. Horsepox Wait, what in the world is horsepox? Most of us know of smallpox, a virus estimated to have killed more than 300 million people since the start of the 20th century. A global vaccination campaign definitively wiped out the disease in 1977. Horsepox is another closely related virus that is, or was, extinct. Researchers in the United States and Canada procured synthetic DNA fragments based on the horsepox virus genome. They also acquired sequencing information on the smallpox vaccine. These two pieces of information allowed scientists to reverse engineer the horsepox virus. This raises alarm bells for many. Not only could other deadly diseases be brought back, but because smallpox was eradicated, subsequent generations have had little or no immunity to the disease. So if a new strain of smallpox were to emerge, the collateral damage could be devastating. Did I miss a wayward species? Which was your favorite from the list? Make sure to drop a note for me in the comments so I can continue making the videos you are most interested in. Like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until next time.